All right, in this video, I'm going to go over one of the most integral parts, timing. There are a number of ways you can approach it, but what I think works well is to have your translated script in Notepad or a Google Doc or whatever, copy it, and then paste it down here into the subtitle grid. And it'll paste line by line, but without any timing. Now this video I'm subtitling. I'm not subtitling the whole thing, just a bit of it in the middle. So I'm going to start off by selecting just this first line and moving roughly to where the part I'm subtitling starts. So vaguely around here. And I'm going to press control three to set the start of the line at the current video time. Now that we're vaguely in the right spot, I'm going to move over to the audio box. This is where we're going to do the vast majority of our timing for this. And this is where getting used to the shortcuts is going to make your life a lot easier. First of all, the left mouse button sets the start of the line and the right mouse button sets the end of the line. The next important set of shortcuts are all close together on your keyboard. The most important of these, in my opinion, are D and G. D will play the last 500 milliseconds, so half a second of the line. This will help you quickly tell if a line is timed correctly without having to listen to the whole thing over and over. And the other important shortcut is G, or enter also works which accepts any changes you've made to the timing of a line and then automatically moves to the next line, setting it to start after the last one. I also often use S, which plays the whole line, and W, which plays um, 500 milliseconds after the line. I'll post a reference with all these shortcuts in the description. Try them out and see what works best for you. So let's start. First of all, so you don't end up endlessly typing D into your edit box, click here just to make sure the shortcuts are working there. Now I'm going to just play the whole line to get an idea of where I am. Okay, so I'm vaguely where I need to be. You can kind of tell by looking at the audio um, waveform where things start and where things end. So, uh, so I'm pressing D just to hear that last little bit uh, time correctly. So I think that's good. So I'm going to press G. And once you get into the swing of it, you can kind of just quickly go through just listening to the last little bit of each line. So there's a bit of a gap between what Junki says here and what Shoya says. What you do in this sort of situation is up to you, but I'm going to do it so it's kind even though there's a bit of a gap, I'm going to set it just before what Shoya says, which I'm assuming is around here. Let's have a listen. So it's around here. G. <laughs> there we go. All right. And then there is a bit of a gap. So Let's see whether this next bit of dialogue starts. Here we are. There we go. So we've got it roughly timed now. The other thing though is, there's these captions here where it says Tsurubo's prediction was Triceratops and then Kono's was a rose. Obviously we can't listen to the audio to figure out where those are. We have to just do it based on 
what we see. So you can press the left and right arrow keys to go frame by frame. So what I'm going to do is find the first frame where these appear. There we go. And what you can do is right click and go insert at video time after. And it's going to set a line that's at the video time. And we'll scroll through to find the where these finish. And then we can hit control four. All right, now we've got this line here. We can type in Oh my God, I'm really good at typing. Sweet. And since the timing is the same for this other bit, you can right click, duplicate, and just change the text. And then that's the basics of timing. Now at the moment, the subtitles are very ugly looking. They're a bit hard to read. So in the next video, I'm gonna go over how we can make these look a bit nicer, um, how we can make these captions here match what you're seeing on screen a bit better. And then after that, I'll show you how you can export this out. Now, alternatively, if you're looking to share these as an external subtitle file for something like Substitial, this is where you're finished basically. So what you do is file, export subtitles, export, and the format you're probably gonna want is SRT, subrip. And save those out and you're done. But otherwise, in the next video, I'm going to go into typesetting and how to make these look a bit nicer. I'll see you then.